So now that we got it out of the trailer, we decided to do a couple of timed runs with the stock machine, the Can-Am DS250, at about a 100-yard dash, about the length of a football field, and see what we can turn in for a time here. Then, afterwards, we can compare with how fast this thing will do with modifications coming up. So we want to make this quad go faster. And the first order of business is to remove this tall geared front sprocket off of this and replace it with more of a performance orientated 14 tooth front sprocket. So my son will have more power to launch off the line, better starts, climb bigger hills and have more acceleration. This is just a no brainer to get started well, with. Well, we had the sprocket cover off we decided to take the, the gearbox plugs out the top one and the bottom one which is right up under here it's marked right here with a little red the top one here is also marked with red anyways we drained it and we put some new transmission fluid in there we're using uh, Amsoil's ATV product right here. So while we had it there, we took care of some additional business. Now, back to the sprocket. Okay, we removed this little, uh, this little keeper that goes on there with two bolts. That comes off. Then the 15 tooth comes right off. And we're replacing that with a 14 tooth to give it more bottom end. Okay, here is our replacement front sprocket. A 14 tooth. And that is your part number right there. If you want to order it on Amazon, that's where we got ours. And uh, so we're going from a 15 down to a 14 tooth. More takeoff power. Okay, that's the new 14 tooth to replace the 15 tooth. And we gotta put this back on here. Uh, get that settled in there. Like so. Okay, now we're gonna do the jet kit in the carburetors. We had to loosen this up and drain all the fuel out of the carburetor after we turned the gas to the off position here. Then we drained it out. Then I loosened up this right here and I took, uh, took the bolts loose there so I could turn the carburetor right here so we can get to the bowl to remove the bowl to access the jets. Okay, we've got the bottom off. Here's the, the float. And here's your two jets here. And that's the one we already took out as a 105 and rethreaded a 110 back in. And then this one here is the next one coming out, the smaller one of the two. And that should be a stock 35 that we're going to a 38. Okay, there's the stock one that came out, it says 35, and I believe that's the idle jet. And now we'll go to 38. Now the other thing that I was recommended that uh, these baffles come out with three screws, I already moved the three screws, and they plug up with soot and carbon and stuff. Uh, so I uh, pulled it out. You can see uh, I'm gonna give it a good brushing. It's not too bad. Fine. All right, we got it kind of cleaned up now. We use some like brake cleaner and, and a wire brush. Looks like it's uh, gonna flow a little better. We're gonna stick her right back on here. And last but not least, we're going to take the seat off here 
and take the air box cover off and uh, do a quick cleaning of the air filter. Not too bad, but we'll give it a, a a nice cleaning and wipe all this dust out in here and stuff that's been accumulating. Okay, folks, we're ready to make two timed runs now and see once and for all how much time we can cut off of this 100-yard dash with our new modifications. Ready? Okay, folks, we're gonna do one more timed run by taking this baffle out and just see if that will improve the, uh, the time. One more timed run. This time we're removing the baffle. There it is. Okay, go ahead and fire it up. <laughs> 